we're back on the Bicentennial National Trail at Balbone and we've got a few vehicles with us. I'm going up first so I can set up a camera. So I, I want to film them coming up. So. It looks like the track's already deteriorating, even though it's only been a week or so since we were here. Down below, there's a mini convoy beginning the ascent. First up is Phil in his 80 series Land Cruiser. through. Now it's John's turn in his Triton. He's okay. Lovely. This is Brian in his GQ patrol. Too easy. How good's the older patrol? And finally, Mark. where I went. That's what I did. Too far to the right. Now he's yeah. through too. Okay, so everyone's made it up to the top. Now we can keep going to the lookout. Continuing along the ridge, we came up that uh, washed out bit, which was seemed to me to have deteriorated from uh, just from the recon that Phil and I did a week or so ago. So, so we're now just following the ridge down. And we're, next stop's going to be the uh, mountain top lookout. at Ben Bullen, mountaintop lookout.
I've got no head for heights. The view at Ben Bullen Lookout is without a doubt spectacular, but our next stop at Cameron's Point has a view over the gardens of Stone National Park that's probably even better. So we leave the Bicentennial Trail and take a right turn onto Cameron's Point Trail for the trek out to Cameron's Point. This is not hard four-wheel driving, but it's rough enough that you have to take it slow. To the left are the walls at the edge of Gardens of Stone National Park, and ahead is Walgham Valley. It's pretty impressive, isn't it? This is a better view, but it's a bit harder to get to. I think this is the iconic rock step. Yeah, I don't know whether the, whether the tree's under the track or they pushed it in that little, little valley there. I mean, it's still steep, this. The iconic old rock step is no more, but maybe with time and erosion, a new challenge will eventually be created by nature. I'm going down first on my own, so I can get ready to video the rest of the vehicles. The washout is getting deeper.
again the GQ patrol makes it look easy. Lovely. Our next challenge is the mother of all bog holes. Rather than detouring along the world's longest chicken track, which must be nearly a kilometre in length by the time you rejoin the trail, Mark wants to try sliding between a couple of bog holes to save time, and he's willing to give it a go first. So he's fired up the GU and is going to see if he can first ease it between these two trees. too easy. Now everyone else can give it a go. Bring it this way. Yep. Yeah. That's it. Well done. Hang on, hang on. Put a stick.
Last time we couldn't get out to Barbone Gap because of a fallen tree, but it's been cleared, so we drive out to enjoy another iconic view. So this is the mountain pass, Barbone Gap. Calculations. The last part of this adventure is along the Moffat Trail, which eventually will lead us out to Ben Bullen Railway Station. This is generally a well-graded track with a couple of steep sections and a few mud holes. So we're just coming out on Moffat's trail. We're seeing a few other groups of four wheel drives who've also been out enjoying this spectacular region of New South Wales. So this is a real four-wheel drive adventure close to Sydney, which has it all. Scenery, awesome lookouts, and some real four-wheel drive challenges to test you and your vehicle. So thanks for watching, Merry Christmas, and we'll be back in 2021 with more camping and four-wheel driving adventures.